of the four molecules of life. Lipids are what you could call the bad boys. <laughs> They're not macromolecules like the others and they also don't dissolve in water. They're like the kid that doesn't go to school unless you drag him out of the house. The kid that doesn't clean his own room until you see the toys. The kid that doesn't finish his vegetables until you... Well, you get the picture. But despite their bad reputation like all our favorite bad boys, they're also really smart. Phospholipids, just like lipids, won't dissolve in water, but they own their own turf and they may do what we got. So thanks to this, they play important roles in our bodies, the most important of which is the formation of our cell membranes. But first, let us look at their structure. This is Ianu with Medish and welcome! Okay. Phospholipids from the name are made of a phosphate group and a lipid group. And if we look at fats, uh, a glycerol molecule attaches to three molecules of an alkanoic acid on its oid sides, forming an ester, which in this case is fat. But for phospholipids, the glycerol is only attached to two alkanoic acids, and the last OH group attaches to a phosphate group instead, hence the name phospholipid. <laughs> Also, most of the time, another polar molecule like choline could be linked to the phosphate group. So. so, after all of this, we get a compound with a long hydrocarbon chain side and the phosphate head side. And because of the structure, the two sides have completely different relationships with water. So we could say our bad boy has some sort of multiple personality disorder. <laughs> one side likes water and one side really does not. The technical name for this type of molecule is amphipatic. We say the molecule is amphipatic. Now this amphipatic structure is exactly what makes them so perfect as the functional units of cell membranes. As we know, water makes up most, okay, maybe not most, <laughs> but more than half of our bodies. And the thing is, when phospholipids find themselves in water, they arrange themselves in a way has to please both sides of them. So this would mean that the polar side would dissolve in water, but the non-polar side will be kept away from water since it can't interact with water. But since we have water both outside and inside the cell, the only way to accomplish this is if the phospholipids sort of stand opposite to each other, forming a sort of self-sealing system that we call a bilayer, in this case a phospholipid bilayer. And this system is actually pretty awesome as it prevents the unnecessary entry and exit of stuff from the cell. And so the molecules that can pass through the bilayer, through diffusion and not through special channels, are usually small and non-polar like carbon dioxide or oxygen. Um, but water, even though it's polar, it can still get through by diffusion, so it's one of the exceptions. And not just for formation of the cell membrane, phospholipids also form membranes of other cell organelles. Most of our organelles, it's basically the same concept. And aside this, they help lipoproteins in fat transport around the body, but they're not the major transport molecules for fat, so no biggie. Um, and this brings us to the end of our video on phospholipids. Please stay tuned for a video on cell membrane where I will talk about phospholipids in more details. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe, bye!